see what you're wearing. There's nothing beneath it. Forgive me for staring. Forgive me for breathing. We might not know why. We might not know how. But baby, tonight we're beautiful now. Here for another episode of Detective Pikachu. Last time started chapter 8, and I'm going to continue chapter 8. Right after I finished the last recording, the last episode, I start recording the next episode. Hey, are you the foolish in charge of delivering books? For real. Oh, you are. Do you think you can bring me one? For real. You will if we order it properly. What do you mean? I'm ordering it right now. For real, for real. It's no use. What are we supposed to do? All it says is do it properly. Don't think it's going to tell us. Maybe there's some specific way to order. For real, for real. If we're going to place the order, do it properly. We would love to, but you haven't told us what you mean by that. For real. You can't tell us. Well, great. This is getting us nowhere. It seems like there's a specific, a specific way we were supposed to order. Maybe if it has something to do with what was written in that note. I also remember that Trinchino told us his partner was counting something. Why don't we put all the information we have gathered? No. Order with the number of parasols and chairs. For real. For real. Hey there, we finally figured out how to order. For real. Then prove it. Huh, you asked for it. First thing is the proper type of drink. Next, we order the sugar cubes. How many do we want? All right, now how many drinks do we want? That's it, Tim. Give Phyllis the order sheet. Yeah, for real. We got it wrong. Bad luck next time. Order somehow. Let me try it again. Alright, let's go find a spot where we can look down on the whole first floor. 
Then the chairs say they look down on the first floor from the end of the second floor. That, yeah, we should go have a look. All right, down the spot. Yes, we got a great view of the first floor from here. Yeah, we need to count the umbrellas and the yellow deck chairs, right? We should remember to check both the left and the right side when we count. One, two, wait, what? One, two, Looks like there are three umbrellas on the right. I'm counting three umbrella. Hmm. I'm counting three umbrellas on the left. Hold on. The note mentioned yellow deck chairs, not the blue ones. Looks like there are two yellow deck chairs on the left. Looks like I'm counting five yellow deck chairs on the right side. There are six umbrellas and seven yellow deck chairs. That means we need to place or order six sugar cubes and seven cups of iced tea from the foolish. Alright. Iced tea. Six sugar cubes. Seven. We did it. Here it is. Auction catalog. Looks like more of a menu than a book. Yeah, let's see what's in it. Prime treasure auction information. Please be sure to have your ticket with you. The dress code is semi-formal. But don't tell me you don't know what dress code means. It's basically telling us how we're supposed to dress up for this auction. We won't be able to get in unless we're wearing a suit and tie and that's what it says? Yeah, so there wasn't going to be a show in that room at all. It's an auction. Looks like it says this is the lineup for the auction. Detectives cap Cape, Henny Brothers Recipe Book, Mass of Antiquity. Isn't that the mask, the one we were just looking at? The owner of that suitcase must have intended to put the mask up for a bit, but the mask is a stolen item. Yeah, this is no ordinary auction. It's almost like a black market. Hmm. Tim, take a look. Ours is on the list, too. You're right. It's on the list of items for sale. And it looks like... Whoever wins the bid gets exclusive buying rights for six months. We can't let that happen. We got to stop them. We need to find a way to sneak into the auction, but how? Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I think we'd be able to walk right in. It said you to have your tickets with you. And the dress code is semi-formal, right? What are you saying? All we need to do is meet the conditions. We will worry about the dress code later. But there was that weird ticket in the suitcase. That must be a ticket for this secret auction. Let's go to the bridge and take a closer look at it. The hall for the secret auction.
Hurry up to the bridge. Solve the flap, flap. The mask disappeared from the bridge. Find the culprit. It's empty, no sign to take it or not. Yeah, whoever it is got us this time. We got nothing. We got, we're not going to be able to get anywhere near Keith unless we solve this case. We were entrusted with the safekeeping of the mask. We must find it. I'm more worried about the ticket than the mask. What on earth is going on? I was busy steering the ship when the incident happened. Those passed suddenly start raising a fuss. So I went in to check on it, and that's when I found out its contents were contentment were missing. The only ones in the room were you and those pass, correct? That's right. So the mask, the ticket and the note all disappeared, huh? There were a few people who came and went before the incident. Of course there was you and then two members of the crew. Yes, there were two crew members. One was in charge of steering the ship until I arrived. The other one came to make a regular report and left as soon as he was done. Where are those two now? They're probably hanging out around the lounge. Got it. Thank you very much. I guess we should see what they have to say, huh? Not so fast, time. We're not done investigating the scene. Nose, nose. The mask you really liked has disappeared. Well, sorry to hear that. Nose, pass. Nose, nose. So you were staring at the mask the whole time, and then what happened? Nose, pal. The ship changed direction. The mask moved to where you couldn't see it for an instant. Things moved back to the original position quickly, but the mask was gone. It moved only for an instant. What could have happened? Nose, nose. Some cold water splashed onto your head when the mask was out of your view. Water, it doesn't seem like there be a leak anywhere here. Where did the water come from? Nose, pal. You don't know. Oh, I get it. You can't look up. You can't look up, can you? Water drops were falling. I think we've seen all there is here. We need to get the mask and the ticket so we can infiltrate the auction. First, let's head to the lounge and talk to the two crew members who came to this room. Finally, came up with a question today. The question today is going to be, what game do you hope to see me play next on the channel? And that is the question of the day. What game do you hope to see me play next? After I finish Detective Pikachu. So I do have a moment I would like to ask you about how things seem on the bridge. 
But why ask me? Well, the captain told us you had gone to the bridge, so... Ah, I see. I did indeed go to the bridge earlier. Has something happened? Yes, I'm sorry to say. This makes me sad. We pride ourselves on offering a safe, secure cruise. Don't worry, we will capture the culprit in no time. Please, if there's anything I can do to help, just ask. Oh, yes. I do remember seeing the mask. I was told not to touch it. It must have been very valuable. It doesn't look like it is, does it? It was placed in front of Nosepass. Actually, Nosepass seemed to really like the mask. It was staring at it constantly. Hmm, maybe Nosepass thinks the mask It's a Pokemon similar to itself. I was on the bridge steering the ship, but I went, to, uh, went on break because the captain arrived and took over. Did you notice anything odd happen while you were on the bridge? Nothing on the bridge. No, the only thing out of the ordinary today happened while I was taking a break in the lounge when the Pokemon next to me spilled its juice. That's about it, really. But yeah, but yeah the question today is what game... Would you do you really hope to see me play next after I finish Detective Pikachu? Because right now I have the shiny lock, which hasn't started yet because I'm still hunting for a shiny. But I'm doing the Ultra Sun Espeon lock, which is a lock I made up on my own. So, yeah, that was the question of the day. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a moment? Sure, what can I do for you? The captain told us you were at the bridge today. Do you think he could tell us a little bit about that time? Did something happen at the bridge? I would be happy to tell you what I know. I want. I went to the bridge to deliver my periodic report. I didn't have much to report on, so once I was done, I left the room. Did you notice anything unusual? Well, I did see Nose Pass had a mask in front of it, but nothing besides. Oh, uh, it wasn't in, in the room, but there was a strange thing I noticed. What was the strange thing? When I stepped out into the hallway after delivering my report, I noticed it was wet. And that's unusual? Yes, it is. It was the top floor, so we don't get any waves or anything. It, to it could be the captain spilled a drink, I guess. That is all. Thank you very much for your time. The floor was wet, huh? That does seem strange. The wet floor. Oh, speaking of the bridge, while I was on the deck, one of our passengers wanted to know when my next trip of the bridge would be. What was this person like? It was the famous Chief Gina. He made a point to double check the time. Even after I had told him, he, it made it seem like it was something very important. That crew member testimony was interesting. Sounds like Gina was really interested in finding out exactly when the crew member was going to the bridge. So you suspect Gina, Pikachu. I don't think that testimony is enough to say he's a suspect. Right. It's, the testimony was all we had, but Gina also has a mullet for wanting the contents of the suitcase. The suitcase had a ticket for the auction, and there was something in the auction lineup. That Gina will probably want, remember? No, uh. Exactly, Gina told us he was trying to recreate the recipe of Henry Brothers. If the recipe book is real, he's got every reason to want it. So Gina stole the suitcase because he wanted the ticket. But how did he know the ticket would be in that bag? I think it's more likely that the suitcase is actually Gino's. This theft could just be his reclaiming the contents of his own bag. We should find out what Gino's up to. Let's ask Amelia and Grant first. Where is Amelia and Graham?
Oh, there they are. Yes? You know, sorry. I don't remember much. I was doing my own research elsewhere. I'm sorry I can't be more help. Well, the interview with the captain is next. He was here for a while, but he headed out saying he was going to the deck. Gino loves to go to the second floor of the deck when he needs to think. I should go find him, though. He wanted to sit in on the interview with the captain. Hmm, let's head to the deck to look for Gino. Let's head out here and look for him. Oh, hello, Tim. Thank you so much for helping me out earlier. Please don't mention... Yeah, I just hope they find your suitcase soon. Are you on your way to somewhere? Oh, no, we're heading back to our room. Hmm, it's not okay, it's shaking all over. Are you sure it's not just still scared of you, Pikachu? Oh, is he worried about Snubble? You see, my darling here accidentally spilled his juice when we were, when we were at the lounge. It's been shaking like that ever since. I think it might have given itself a scare. So Snubble's the Pokemon that the crew member was talking about. Still, you spilled your juice? You're clumsier than I thought. Snub, you didn't spill the juice. It was someone else's fault. What are you talking about, Snub? You say something invisible drank the juice, and you saw it disappear right in front of you. Snub, Snub. And so you got surprised and growled at it, at which point the cup fell over at the same time. What looked like a Pokemon appeared... For instance, said, my juice, huh? Snub. And it bumped into you when it made a run for it. Snub. It was wet and cold. Water again. Huh, interesting testimony. The drink vanished. Snubble's testimony was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I wonder which Pokemon it is. It is that it's all. It. It's definitely... Worth looking to. First, let's check with Gino to the deck. I'm going to check with him and then I'm going to end this episode off. What is it? Oh, hello there, Tim. What's up? Apparently that mask has been stolen. It seems rather rash for someone to steal a stolen item. Who's the culprit? Let's start investigating that. You are? Oh, that's right. You're the you're a detective, aren't you, Mr. Graham? Mention that to me. Have how have you been spending today, Gina? I've just been relaxing on the deck since I left the lounge, although one of the Pokemon at the pool decided to play a prank and splash me in water so I came up to the second floor to dry off. Well, that must have been a hassle. Well, yes, but it was a great way to get some time to think. I assume you were thinking about recipes. That's right, that Henry Brothers recipe, to be precise. I almost got it. Last we've seen recreating them, it will gain the attention of every gourmet in the world. I heard there's a book with all of their recipes in it. You mean the Henry Brothers recipe book? If it exists, I won't be going through all this trouble. The recipes are all lost and it says that no one will ever be able to taste the Henry Brothers cuisine again. That's why recreating the recipe is so meaningful. This is becoming more and more like an interrogation. Do you think I'm the culprit? Oh no, it's not that. Just so we're clear, I was on the deck ever since I left the lounge, so you can ask around downstairs if you like. I'm sure someone saw me get doused at the pool. I'm suspicious of Gina, but it seems like he hasn't been to the bridge. We should gather some testimony about Gina. Maybe the Pokemon at the pool knows something. Let's ask Lapras. Come on. Okay, we were done. Never mind. Lapras knows nothing. Yeah. 
Graham. Where an unusual Pokemon fell into the pool and someone got sprashed. What Pokemon is this unusual Pokemon? Bruno, you didn't get a good look. No worries. Thanks. Brown. Brown. Wait, one of your balloons popped and splashed a person with water when you were playing with lapis. What exactly happened? Brown. The balloon was empty, but when it popped, the Pokemon suddenly appeared from inside, and the person got splashed when that Pokemon fell into the pool. So wait, there was a Pokemon in the empty balloon. How is that possible? Brown. Well, that surprised me. Okay, I understand now. Brion, right now, you obviously saw me in the balloon, but the one they're talking about was apparently completely empty, and the Pokemon that suddenly appeared in the balloon fell into the pool, then ran off towards some person. That person must have been Gina. Gina. Now, what does it mean? Is it saying that there was a Pokemon inside even though the balloon looked empty? There's no way to explain that, unless it was an invisible Pokemon. Invisible, that's it. The Pokemon must be able to turn invisible, which means the Pokemon from the balloon. The one who stole the mask from the bridge must be that invisible Pokemon that Gino certainly has an interesting partner. Let's think about how they may have done it. How did the mask disappear? What testimony tells us when the room was infiltrated? Let me think about this. I, hmm. This? No. I'm trying to think about this. No. The wet floor. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong one. Not that one either. 
Which means it has to be this one. That's right. Somehow a drink disappeared. That must have been caused by the invisible Pokemon, too. Well, I'll bet that anything that Pokemon puts in their mouth becomes invisible. Which means the mask is in its mouth. An invisible Pokemon hit it in its mouth. Now we know what the crime how now the crime was committed. All we need to figure out is exactly which Pokemon the invisible Pokemon has. I wonder if it could be in Amelia's notes. Right, her hand drawn in Pokedex. Let's see if she will let us have a look to the lounge. Well I am going to end it here. Well, yeah, and ended it here. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Don't forget to answer the comment questions of the day down below. If you want to chat, feel free to join my Discord. Link to my Discord will be down below in the description. If you want to know when I upload, subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.